guys, it's Claire here and in this week's video we are going to talk about pointillism, the art movement and style and Yayoi Kusama as the artist and then we will do a dot painting in the style of Yayoi Kusama. If you have any questions about any of the art terms that I use or anything that you watch in this video, you can always send us a message or write a question in the comments as well. And remember that you can pause the video whenever you need. Okay, so I hope you enjoy the video and we'll see you next week. Pointillism was an art movement and style created in the late 1800s by two artists, Pierre Surat and Paul Signac. As you can see here, it is an art style that consists of lots of small dots of colour. These dots of colour up close don't look like the picture, but when you put enough of them together, they create a harmonic picture with the colours combining, as you can see in these pictures. Since then, there have been many different forms of pointillism, as we can see here with Aborigine art from Australia, pointillism with watercolour, pointillism with pen or pencil, pointillism with pegs, wooden pegs that have been painted, pointillism with crayons or sculpture pointillism, and in this one here, pointillism that has been burnt into the page with incense. Yayoi Kusama is a Japanese artist who was born in 1929. She is one of the most famous Japanese artists of today and still alive and most well known for her work with polka dots and her installations. As a child, Kusama was diagnosed with mental illness. She would see hallucinations, and she also suffered abuse from her mother and family. She transformed this into her incredible artwork that we can see here by painting millions of dots and creating all different types of artworks, including her installation pieces, which are rooms full of sculptures and artwork. So for my dot painting, I'm going to do one of Kusama's mushrooms, but you can do whatever picture you want. If you like, you could do a fruit, a vegetable, flowers. It doesn't even have to be an object. Your painting could be all dots. So you can do whatever you want, but I'm going to do a mushroom. So I'll start by just drawing in my mushroom. Right, and the next step is to paint in the base colors. So I'm going to pick a color for my background and maybe a color for the parts of the mushroom and paint those in. So I'm going to do that now. All right, so now I have my base colors painted in. I need to let it dry, so I'll need to give it maybe about five or 10 minutes before it's completely dry, and then I can start putting my dots in.
Alright. So I ended up changing my colours because I forgot what colours I said. But another thing that I didn't say was if you don't have a small paintbrush, you can also use the end of something that is pointy. So I could use the end of my paintbrush to do my dots as well. So I've done the dots on my mushroom, the lines, and I've finished that bit. So I might, I think the background looks a bit plain. So I'm going to add some, some black fig dots to the background as well. And then I will say that that's finished. <laughs> 